Hello, I'm Bill here with Royal LePage's Water Nest Seekers. My team is based locally out of Clarkson Village. Last week I sent you a video updating you on real estate developments for the whole of South Mississauga within the wider context of the GTA and Canada. In this supplementary video, I'm going to zero in much more close to your home, the lovely, prestigious community of Lorne Park. I just finished data mining the Toronto Real Estate Board's MLS system. The statistics on Lorne Park I am sharing with you here today are as of the end of day yesterday. So that would be Tuesday, July 26th. Let's start off with something which may surprise you. Lorne Park prices actually declined in aggregate by 3.8% from last year to a median price of $1,158,000 in the last 60 days. 66 homes of all types sold for between $593,000 to $6.3 million. Homes are selling quickly within a median of seven days. On my whiteboard here, let's just see that we can get it all in there for you. You can see breakdown of figures for the most common types of homes sold in Lorne Park. As you can see, detached two-story and bungalows declined significantly. While the volume of homes sold increased, the price mix of those that did results in these surprising decreases. As you know, there are virtually no condo apartments in our community. While few townhomes exist in Lorne Park, those that do saw an extraordinary increase of 46.9% likely due to strong demand from downsizers with few options wanting to stay within the community. Lorn Park is definitely experiencing a strong seller's market. Sellers have the power. Since there are many buyers than sellers, demand for all homes of all types and styles exceeds supply, driving prices up. We have a shortage of listings to sell. Multiple offers are common meaning that there is one happy family with the rest unhappy and frustrated at not getting that home of their dreams. All reasonably priced homes which are marketed effectively will eventually sell. Of this there is little doubt. If a home does not sell within a week or two, the market is telling the seller that they are asking too much. A significant price reduction is warranted to attract buyers to the property it will then sell, but likely for less than it otherwise would have uh, had it been priced more reasonably from the outset. The great challenges for Lorne Park sellers in this market are how to effectively market their property well beyond just putting it on the MLS and how to strategically negotiate the deal to their advantage. On the other side of the table, the great challenge for Lorne Park buyers uh, are how to identify uh, and assess value properties more quickly than anyone else, ideally before they hit the MLS in the first place. How to avoid multiple offer bidding wars. How to differentiate their offer from any others beyond the offer price. And strategically, how to negotiate the deal to their advantage. If you have any questions or would like to learn unique strategies I will use to take advantage of this current market for you and thus optimize and achieve your objectives with the most, getting you the most net money in your pocket, I invite you to give me a call. Let's have a coffee and see what makes sense. If a family member, friend, or neighbor even is thinking about making a move, help them out by giving me a call and I will contact them directly. They will be very, very grateful that you did. I look forward to hearing from you. Have yourself an awesome day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.